that everybody and welcome back to the channel my name is Chris Ormy and today we are back playing some more Football Manager 2016 we're here gunning for glory with Arsenal and uh, it's not been too long since last video so we're just gonna jump in you can see not much has happened we're at an early point in the season but uh, not the best of starts the first sort of few games have proved a little tricky for us so we did beat Huddersfield Coast 3-2 away from home after that penalties win in the Community Shield over Liverpool. We beat, you know, we went uh, close to beat the Man United, lost a couple of players to injury, couldn't get the job done. So that was another poor one. West Brom we won and Swansea we just couldn't, uh, couldn't overcome really. Not the best of performances so far. It does open us up though. For the Champions League, the league isn't going so well, so we're over to Europe and see if we can get something started there. Now, we're in a group with Fenerbahce, Anderlecht and Sevilla. Should be a pretty easy group. You look at our next game, Everton at home, not so easy. Leicester at home, then Stoke and Burnley away. Crystal Palace at home. They're not tough games, but they're not easy games, so... Those are going to be some interesting times. And I'm thinking with the, the group games that we've got in the um, Champions League, we could maybe, maybe rest a few people in Europe, pick up some points here, and then we've got a big game. The next live comp is more than likely going to be Man City at home. Then I think we're going to go down to Chelsea at home. Man United away and Liverpool at home I think those are the games so we're trying to spread out the teams we play as well as home and away games if there's any good Champions League games in there as well or whatever else crops up then of course we will be playing on those so we're gonna give ourselves a bit of a chance here I think by sneaking through Europe and focusing back on the league to try and overcome this slightly poor so we looked at the squad and you can see Vlasic is still out injured two to three months there with a torn calf muscle. Luis Enrique, he's been uh, coming back from injury so he's not available for this game with Fener. Apart from that, the team looks pretty good right now. I'm fairly happy with how they're playing, how everything lines up. If you look here, you can see that not really too much has happened. Um, I believe in the last video we were up to date sort of here, but Jeff Rain Adelaide, three-star possible potential. Um, I sold him on to Juventus for 10 million. Lots of backers there. He's a very popular lad. Just wasn't going to make it for us, so we're going to see how he develops in the future if that comes back to haunt us. An 8.25 for Lucas Romero, slight profit. Just wasn't playing for us, and uh, yeah. Not too upset about that deal at all. I believe Pogba was in before the last video. I believe that was something that actually took place. That's 73 million there. We also looked at strikers and were wondering what we could do. So Rui, Pre uh, sorry, Rui Pedro in on loan. Nice to see what he actually looks like and how good his potential could be. So a lot of money to make that that permanent I don't have a clause as part of the loan deal itself but um, he is an option I also went after Kuki from Bayern Munich now he's listed as an attacking midfielder but he can play striker as well naturally so 23 million here great potential he can either replace one of our attacking midfielders if we need to or an option up front maybe a false number nine maybe a deep line forward as well to take advantage of those two different positions he can play um yeah not not too sure on that one not too sure and then 4.3 million from federico trivulzio we brought him in nice young left back bit of potential bit of chance now we'll see how he develops so those are the deals we've got in place i think that we've picked up what we needed where we needed and um, we're just gonna now figure out how this all works this season so 
as I say, I like the squad, I like the depth, I like the ability, I love the potential, I love our age. We're quite a young squad, we're coming together, you know, but we do have to defend our title this season, and so far not the best. We are down in the league a bit, but we are unbeaten, the only unbeaten team. Sadly, that's three draws and only two wins from the opening five. So, we're not too far behind, though. Three points behind Man City at the top. You can see there, now Stoke are up there, Norwich, Lampton, Leicester. You wouldn't expect those teams to be up there throughout the season, so. Really, when you look at the title challenges that we'd normally see, we're level on points with Tottenham. We've got Man United a point behind us. A point behind them is Chelsea and Liverpool, so it's not as bad as it seems, but I just don't want us to slip any further behind. So we're up against a very sort of defensive-minded, it looks like, very defensive-minded uh, Fener team at the moment. So why isn't Lukaku up front? Really? Really, we're going to put Sanchez up there. Why don't we just give Sanchez the day off? So we're going to get Lukaku up there. I'm going to select my bench the way I want to. No, 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 no. Kuki up top. There we go. Kuki Kuchi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. He looks playing as a complete forward, so that's going to suit us down to the ground. Pogba's tired. Yeah, in fact, everybody's tired. Let me let me see if there's fitter players available. Let's see if there are. I like going on this screen because can actually see a bit more. So, Donnarumma's good enough for the first team. I'm okay there. We've got Amos on the bench. We're okay there. Defending wise, everybody can play in the first team, so it's really just picking our best. Callum Chambers, Ricardo Rodriguez, we're gonna push Mamana there with Nostalgic, that should be decent. Um, and I guess my defenders are gonna be George and Laporte because no, they're not, they're gonna be George and. Bellerin, of course, because Bellerin goes right back. That means Chambers can move into centre-back. So we're covering the entire back line with those defensive uh, positions. Again, these are all okay, so we will be playing... Isco? Yeah, Isco's good enough. So Tielmans probably makes the bench on this one. Interesting. So it's Ramsey and Niles. That's where we start. And let's check Ishko, Ante Koric, and Martin Udegaard to see where they like to play. So no side preference for Ishko. We're okay there, Udegaard. I think he, uh, yeah, he's the same, but he is left-footed, so we can... I don't know how he's going to play as a shadow striker. Okay, so Ante Koric prefers the left. So, Koric is going to be the shadow striker. You score, what do you like on terms of pace and everything? Not great, but good crossing. Zzz, yeah, no. He's got wide right then. Martin Odegaard down the middle. First Midfielder on the bench is going to be Yuri Tillmans. We're going to have... Mario Goetze in there and Fred to finish up. And then our strikers. Anybody else up there? Yeah, Ozil. Ozil instead of Goetze. A little bit more fitness, and then we're going to go with Kuki and Lukaku. So we reset that, get rid of those two teams. 
short on star power, but it's a good little side. It is a good little side. So Calm Chambers isn't match fit, but everybody here is pretty sort of okay in terms of condition. A little bit of a worry over my mana, but he's that side over with Callum Chambers, so we're okay there. Um, full back attack, that's not what you like. Wing back defend for Ricardo. Um, yeah, we don't really have a shadow striking option. I wonder if we should play Corridge more of a trek, maybe. Let's put him in as a Trequatista, see how that works there. Um, I'm not too sure, really. But at least everyone's playing at a decent sort of role for them. Corridge, not in his favourite position by any means. But it's young, you know, Ante Corridge, Odegaard, Kucci's new, Niles has come in there. Nostalgic, Mamana, Chambers, Don Rumor and Goals. Rodriguez, a little bit more experience at left back. Ramsey in midfield is holding it together with Isco in attacking midfield. So, let's get into this game then. Let's get into this game. So, Fenerbahce here visiting us with Robin Van Persie up front, Nani and Victor on the wings, Mehmet and Portillo in midfield, Souza, defensive midfielder, Afonso and Gokan, I don't know as fullbacks very well. Uh, Macedo and Cadillac, though, it's centre-back, a decent, and Jakob in goal. So, Demreal makes the bench instead of starts. Um, Trezeguet, Fernandeo. Yeah, yeah, there's some decent talent on their bench. We've got to be a little bit wary of them, maybe, but um, overall... I really think that we should be able to take these boys without too much of a worry. Whoops. It's going to go in hard here on the center mids. I'm going to close down the wingers. And shut out Van Persie totally. So we're not going to, we're not going to tightly mark the, center, uh, the wide midfielders. Because that's going to pull our fullbacks way out of position. So, no tight marking, but they are going to close down and they are going to be man marked. So, that's the key for us here. So, Callum Chambers, I just want you on Nani. Oh, that doesn't fill me with, with confidence, sadly. And uh, Victor is being taken out by Ricardo Rodriguez. Um, dribble more, shoot less often, moving the channels, no. Yeah, no, no. I was going to try something a little fun there, but let's not. Um, good luck tonight. Passionate, assertive, calm. Not the world's greatest team talk. Not our usual team at all. Let's move straight up into uh, attacking. So I think Van Persie doesn't have a lot of pace, so we shouldn't be worried too much with that at the back. Their wingers are starting off a little... Uh, ooh, decent. Decent from Odegaard there. One, two, Maitland Niles. But their wingers are starting off in midfield, so they're a bit further back, which should give us a little bit of uh, a chance there. But it didn't look like Ricardo Rodriguez was anywhere near Nani there. He let him go. So he needs to be a bit better at that. Assertively. Concentrate. See what Chambers can do. Decent cross, but it's nowhere near where it needs to go. Again, Nani. Getting the ball a little too easily there. Mehmet there. Ooh, should have scored. Should have scored. 
should have scored. Like, wow. Um, okay, tactical changes already. Ten minutes into the match, I see this being very dangerous. Nani and um, Victor getting free on the wings a bit too easy. Midfielder supporting Van Persie. So, them sitting so far back and sort of exploiting some time, some uh, exploiting a little counter attack. Oh, and he's got, he does get into the box, he does get off a shot, and we don't allow them to counter. So even though it's not as exciting, it's uh, probably a bit better for us to play this way. Oh, Kuki does well to keep that alive. Maitland Niles, Chambers, and the college can't get there. Nani now is pinned so far deep that they cannot counter-attack again. This is what we want to play as. This is how we want to keep forcing them there. Yeah, no, Victor needs to be my mark, though. He needs to be. If he pulls one of those centre-backs out of position, we are down for. Yeah, Chambers got a little something on that one from Victor's shot. Nastasia cleared up to Ramsey, who hammers it up wide, unfortunately. He score. Make the Niles. Aaron Ramsey get in there. The two centre midfielders combine. They score plays in the ball. Comes out to Maitland Niles. Pings it in the box and is straight in there. Oh, look at Victor there trying to take a shot from distance. I don't like to see that at all. I don't mind actually seeing that as much. Oh, and Cookie could have scored there. Should have scored. Udegaard with a nice ball to him. If this one falls down to E-score. Ramsey Maitland Niles can't keep it in. Just lifts it a bit too much over the box. So, yeah, they're definitely looking to attack us with speed and pace down those wings. They're looking to make it count on the counter-attack. Good. Good calm play. That's all we need to see. And the courage, Kuchi. Falls back to Kuki and it goes out for a corner. Back to Ramsey, he lays it off this time. Maitland Niles down to the byline. Nani's going to get that and yeah, that move breaks down without them being able to attack. Van Persie's off the pitch, twisted ankle at the moment. Ramsey to Chambers, let's get this ball in the box. Ashley Maitland Niles nearly puts that one in the back of the net. Can't quite. So, Gundul gets injured. We're not going to do anything until half time with that. Van Pertzi has also got a knock. Lovely ball back there for Odegaard, who can't quite cut inside on his left. He's got nostalgic, and that's over the bar. I do feel that these chances might come back to haunt us, not being able to take these. We are Niles. Oh, and here comes Nani. Is Portillo is up here to Mehmet. Back to Portillo. Luckily, his shot is wasteful as well. Didn't see the uh, pop up there for the um, for the substitution. To be fair, didn't see that at all. So okay, right. In that case, what am I doing? I guess just that. Yeah, that's 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 correct. Okay. 
Um, let's see. What can we do? Shoot more of them. I don't want to do too much with you. Shoot more often. Shoot more, dribble more. Move in the channels. Um, stay wide, run wide. Stay wide, run wide. back bring back the fan so we could keep that symmetry on the sides yeah I think that's we can't do too much we cannot do too much so they're far from pleased not been taking our chances nostalgic there's more to come from you he doesn't seem to think so. Whew. Okay, so we do need to see more from this team. Um, even if it is cobbled together a little bit, I think we should still be doing better. Hopefully with Van Persie a little injured, that takes him out of the game a bit more. So Chambers here, Odegaard. Niles. There we go, he doesn't let it go. Referee, they're fucking diving in a bit too much there for my liking. Really? You stayed back out to the entire attack and then you won't tackle back. Oh. Like, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Uh, Mark Titer. Okay, so the fullbacks need to be told exactly what to do, it seems. Um, Kuchi not getting anything up there. Not really doing anything fun right now. We go on the counter-attack, but it all falls apart. Isco there. Trips them, stops them from countering back. Oh, my God. Tight mark in, close down, boys. C c come on. This ain't that difficult. Stick on the winger and... Make sure he doesn't get away from you. That is it. Oh, Cookie. Oh, that's highly disappointing. Like, highly disappointing. One winger to the other. I've literally told the fullbacks to go sit on those wingers and shut them down. And they can't even do that for me. They can't even do that for me. Despicable. Absolutely despicable. Oh, right then. Um... Tanker man support might be best. Let's see what Romelu can do off the bench. We could be losing this game. Because of Nani. Rodriguez does well there against Van Persie, but... Oh! It's unlucky. Nails up to Corridge. Now we're playing with some fire in our bellies. Now that we've gone sort of... Uh, and wasted our lead. Got the 
They're just shutting us down way too easily. Really don't like that. Um, no, I can't do that. I cannot do that. Dang, like... Like, Rodriguez is doing nothing. That's, that's the first thing, so George has got to come on. George has got to come on, because... Like, Kuki and Rodriguez done nothing. So if we can get a little bit better with their replacements in Lukaku and uh, Georges, we will be okay. And I know what my third sub's gonna be, but how can I do things now? I really can't. I really can't, so he's got advanced playmaker attack, Udegaard, advanced playmaker support, Courage, attacking midfielder, support. For now, until I'm able to get what I need done. Oh, thank God. I thought then that was going to go in. I was going to be highly disappointed with that. Oh, my God. Nani just finds some room to wriggle through. Dangerous player. He is a dangerous player. All right, let's go on attack. Unstructured. And Yago coming on. Not really someone I need to worry about too much, so we'll wait until we do our third sub before we do the opposition instruction change. So there we are. They've got themselves back in the game. They're happy enough just to sit and let this game play out. I, on the other hand, feel that it's time for a bit of Freddy. So, what are we doing? Corich or Isco? I think it's going to be Isco, you know. I think that's going to be Isco. So. <sighs> oh, too many roles that are about the same. I don't like that. I really don't like that. So yeah, Fred's gonna have to take the hit then on his position as a roaming playmaker. Advanced Playmaker... Tista, maybe... Looking for more space... Move Lukaku up and then advance forward, try and push them even further back... God for that. We don't need someone booked now. We definitely don't need someone booked now. So what are we going to do? Um, hit the early crosses, shoot on sight. Pump balls into the box, exploit in the flanks. We whip the crosses. Slightly higher, we go back here. 
very fluid, close down, stay on your feet though, no, don't stay on your feet. Uh, tighter marking, go route one, roam. With one eye on overload for the last five minutes, if we do need to go there. Right now, I got a feeling that we might. Well, that might lose us the game as well, so it's a bit of a risk, but um, yeah, Stagic's now going to get booked. Duh. Van Percy just gets talking to. Let's see, can we get anything going here, boys? Lukaku, nice. Fred to Corridge. A way to Lukaku, pumps it in the box. There we go, George. Lukaku! Almost, 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 almost. Full back attacks. Full backs attacks, right. Really didn't seem like these boys were pushed forward, did it? That really didn't seem like they were pushed forward. Um Say forward attack. Um, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Deep playing playmaker support. Yeah. Last playmaker attack. Ramsey. Got to keep him in midfield. Advanced playmaker. Attack. So Fred can be advanced playmaker support. Yeah, why not? Why not? That'll do me. That'll do me. That'll do me. Let's see if we can't open up this game a little bit. Fenerbahce giving us a far sterner test than they should have at this point. So. Oh, Mamana. Really thought he was going to get that. Ramsey does well. That's what we want to see. Nice ball through there. Lukaku. First time volley from miles and miles out. Oh, Fred. Why do you go for that? Why did you go for that? Push forward, boys. Come on, we're on overload. We're pushing forward. Stagic to Ramsey. Here we go. Fred to Martin Udegaard. On his left foot. Across the keeper. He did everything right there. He didn't get it on target. Lukaku, what a lovely run that is. Down to Corridge who wastes that possession. Go get him! Fucking play out time, boys. Excuse my language. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days. What are you doing? Get up the field. Do so oh my god. Like I know the final whistle is gonna gonna blow and we're gonna get the draw, but like oh, we wasted those chances. We didn't get forward. Absolutely absolutely poor today. Absolutely poor. I'm happy with Maitland Niles. Like that kid had a fantastic game. Fantastic game. Really encouraged by his development off the pitch as well. You can see mentals, he's still got a lot to work on. But, you know, 
he's really coming along very nicely in that centre mid position. So didn't expect him to be that good. The rest of the team, though, we've just blown the chance to take a lead here in Europe. Absolutely disgusted by our lack of passion, lack of quality. Switching off, even though I shut down their wingers, it was their two wingers that combined to score the goal. Like, there's, yeah, nobody showed up and wanted this game. So, oh, the dodgy start to the season continues. Sadly, it continues. But Maitland-Niles, you played well. You played very well. Got the assist, so assertive. Great chances. Thank you very much. Hope he continues his form. You've got four days for Everton, so everybody can have two days off. Need to get that fitness back. So yeah, that's um, not the start we wanted in Europe, to be fair. A home game against a weaker team, and we just couldn't get the job done. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can do... Phew, trying the best out there. Phew. It's an interesting season. It's an interesting season. Wow. Well, guys, that's going to be a good point to leave the video on uh, this one. I'm going to go talk to my backroom staff and figure out a little bit what's going on here. Uh, it's all tactical advice. Meh. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Not the best of starts this season. You know, couldn't uh, win the Community Shield easily. We've beaten West Brom and Huddersfield away from home. Drawn against Man United at Southampton at home and Swansea away. And in our opening game in the Champions League is a draw against Fenerbahce. Defensively, we look solid. We're not conceding too many goals. Offensively, we're not getting the job done. Now, we've had a few injuries, we've had a few troubles, but I'm still expecting better. We need to pick up some big points in both at home and in the uh, in the European competition, we need to get things rolling. I think we are going to tank that Southampton game in the cup, play the uh, youngsters as much as we can, because two fronts seems to be more than we can handle right now. So we don't want to add in the cups to this one. But yeah, next game, as I say, we'll get a long run of games in. Hopefully, get some form, get some points on the board. And uh, we'll be okay after that if we can get that going. Next game, though, next live comp will be Man City at home. Currently first in the league. That's a huge test for us. So I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up, click like if you have. You know, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. You can follow me on Twitter, at Chris Army for more information about videos, the game, everything else. So you can ask your questions there or have your say in the comment section below. Anybody got anything that uh, they think I've missed here? Anybody know really why the form is a bit patchy at the moment and why we're not clicking up front, as it were? But um, let me know. I think a few too many new players maybe, maybe not on the same page with each other. Maybe a few too many days off training because of injuries. I'm trying to get them back fit. But let me know. Have your say in the comment section below or at Chris Ormy on Twitter. Until next time, though, guys, thanks for watching. We will turn this around. Come back next time to see how that has happened. Please let it happen. But until then, guys, take care of yourselves. I've been Chris Ormy. 
This is Football Manager 2016, Gunning for Glory with Arsenal. Take care.